Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night or the next morning drenched in sweat? I mean, your night clothes are drenched, your sheets, your bed covers, you are completely like sweat is coming off of you. Um, a lot of us have experienced that. And similarly, many of us wonder why it is that night sweats happen. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. That's what we are talking about today. Now, I kind of lumped the causes of night sweats into sort of four main sort of categories. We should say, to start off that true night sweats, if we're talking about the true night sweats, we're really talking about severe sort of flashes of heat uh, that drench you in sweat at night and are not related to say the usual run of the mill overheating. But with that said, let's go into the four main categories that really could cause you to be overheated, to be drenched at night and talk about what you need to do about them. The first one is, well, I say, and although this may not be true night sweats, I always say, are you sleeping under too many covers? Is it too hot in your room okay are you going to sleep with your bedroom temperature or your house temperature too warm i mean honestly a, a cause of of many people simply sweating at night has to do with how warm they're keeping their environment or how many covers they're sleeping in or if they're sleeping in socks and flannel and all all sorts of stuff um so just be mindful uh if you're sleeping in too many covers and stuff and you're too warm at night you might sweat of course, that's not the true night sweats that we're talking about, but it's important to understand if that's you. Now, uh, menopause is another big category, right? Menopause, look, if you have hot flashes, you could flash at night as well. That may happen, so keep that in mind. Also in perimenopausal women, so you don't have to necessarily be in menopause to have uh, sweating at night. Um, now let's get into some some of the causes of, of night sweats the way we're talking about them. Number one is medications, or rather number three <laughs> is medications. That's right, there are a number of medications that could cause you to uh, feel hot and to sweat at night. Sometimes antidepressants can do it. Sometimes hormonal medications, birth control medications can do it. There's actually a number uh, that can potentially do it. So uh, you know I'm, I'm, I'm about, you know what I'm about to say. I'm about to say, make sure you talk to your doctor. I had not said it yet, but you know I'm, it's coming. You know it is. Um, this topic in particular, guys, is one you really need to talk to your doctor about. We don't like to play around with night sweats, and I should say that right now. Night sweats is truly important. So uh, you want to look at your medications with your doctor. And the four Fourth category, and this is probably the most important, but potentially most significant as well, is is there an underlying medical condition that is going on causing your sweating at night? Now, these conditions could range. Uh, it could be a thyroid problem. It could be uh, that you're getting low blood sugar numbers at night and your body is responding by sweating too much. Uh, sleep apnea can actually cause sweating. Uh, if you have an infection, like we know how we all know what it's like pretty much to have a fever at night uh, when you have an infection and to be sweating as a result of that, perhaps. Um, there are sweating conditions, conditions where people simply sweat uh, more than others. It's called hyperhidrosis. Um, so, so there's a number of things. Thyroid conditions, I think I mentioned, there's a lot of stuff. But I'll tell you the one condition or the one category of medical conditions that we, we worry about a lot would be cancers, okay? So sometimes cancers can present with night sweats. That means uh, a person uh, starts having diffuse drench, drenching sweating at night that's not due to their ambient temperature environment or the clothes they're wearing at night to go to bed, etc. So cancer is always something that we want to make sure is not going on. Um, I always say this, you know, if you have night sweats, certainly in conjunction with any other symptoms such as cough, such as fatigue, such as weight loss, diarrhea, any pain in any specific spot, um, any of that stuff, you definitely need to see your doctor ASAP. But I would also say if you have night sweats without those symptoms and you just have night sweats and nothing else, you also got to see your doctor. Um, you know, what you want to do here is make sure you know why you're sweating so much at night, whether it is simply because your covers are too thick and too heavy or you're in menopause or it's your medications or it could be or that it's something else. OK, that's what you want to know. So it's a, most important thing is understand that there's a lot of different potential causes of sweating too much at night. Of course, when we talk about true night sweats, we talk about this drenching sort of like whoa, uh, sweating that's not due to uh, an ambient environment or things like that. Um, make sure you find out the cause. Talk to your doctor about it. But remember, there are many causes. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know what you think in the video. Share this video with other people, please, if you wouldn't mind. For those of you who send stars, um, I respond to you personally. Guys, if you have not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.